all right hello again so we have another video today um, from the brookings arts council for this week and we're going to talk a little bit about perspective we're going to be doing some um aquariums to show perspective and so as far as supplies today i have a piece of paper i have a pencil and an eraser in case i make mistakes i do have a straight edge i have a ruler in particular but if you have just like a straight edge like another piece of paper or a box or just something that's straight that you can um trace along that's great and I do have a black marker I'm using a sharpie but a black like Crayola marker will do just fine as well and then I do have something to color with as well so I will probably be using either crayons or colored pencils today um you can use crayons colored pencils markers you can use paint you can use you can just shade it with regular pencil whatever kind of materials you're allowed to use or like to use or excited to use maybe you haven't used it before but you want to give it a try whatever you want to use is absolutely absolutely fine with the project. So today we're going to start, we're going to do a vantage point. So basically perspective is used in art to show some sort of space or atmosphere. Like they, they show things that are close up and things that are in, at a distance, like realistically. And so today we're going to start with a vantage point, which is basically like kind of like the end of where we're looking. So mine's going to be pretty close to like in the center of the paper. Um, I have my paper horizontally or like I have it vertically. You can have it horizontally. It doesn't matter. Um, it looks a little different, but mine's just right there pretty much in the middle. And that's basically where all of our lines are going to like stem from. So basically that's like the furthest point in the distance. So down a hall or in, um, down a road, whatever it is, down a tunnel. Um, today in this case, down an aquarium. And so today we're going to use our straight edge and I'm going to line up with that point and I'm gonna go pretty much from corner to corner, as close as you can get, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you're, want, you're gonna want that point to be intersected and you're gonna go all the way across your paper, just like that. So you want that point to be on that line. And mine doesn't, it goes pretty close to the corner there, but not so much up there, just cause we're not using a, a square piece of paper. So it's not gonna be perfect. And then you wanna do the same thing with the other side. So pretty close on that side. Okay. So you end up with a big X on your paper, intersecting that dot with both of them. So basically what you're looking at is like, this is the floor and this is the ceiling. And this is kind of like the walls down the hall. And this is like very teeny tiny, like light at the end of the tunnel kind of situation going on. So that's what we got to start with. From there, we're gonna start with drawing like in the ceiling. So in the ceiling, basically this is like, if you've ever been to like, I think the Omaha Zoo has it where you like walk down in a tunnel and like above you there's fish and on either side of you there are fish. And so the top is like a dome. So we're gonna draw that in. And so first we have to have kind of that straight line of the wall and I might I'm gonna use my straight edge you don't have to I'm actually gonna erase this line because it's not straight um if you're not worried about the lines being absolutely straight you do not have to use your straight edge I just want mine to be as precise as I can which is always a good thing to strive for um and so I'm gonna draw those straight lines there basically I'm drawing kind of like a, a doorway at the end of this tunnel and I'll draw it in quick and then I'll show you what we got, what we're working with. Ooh. And mine's a little crooked, but that's all right. And so basically I use my straight edge to draw these lines here and then that dome across the top. And we're just gonna do that. We're gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna try and get three in and you're gonna see like the different panels in the wall too. So I'm actually gonna erase this dome and kind of make it a little bit straighter too. Bear with me here. And then, so that's what we got with that. And then once we get those in, I'm gonna do them really fast. We're gonna do the floor, which is a little bit more difficult than just a regular floor. We're gonna do kind of like a checker print kind of deal. Still not great, but better. Okay, so I'm gonna do some panels quick. Like I said, I'm shooting for three. If you guys can get four, if you want them bigger or smaller, completely up to you. Um, I think three is a pretty solid number for this. Okay. 
and I'll show you before we get going with the next part. Okay, so this is what we got. We got this doorway kind of going down. It looks a little bit more like a hallway. These are like panels in like the glass of the um, the aquarium. And then the, the floor we're gonna do checker print. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do a line straight down the middle and then I'm gonna divide that in half again, just to try and get as even as I can with that floor. Actually, I might do thirds. You can do it in half. I want kind of like small little checkered pieces. If yours are bigger, like, by all means, make them bigger. Completely up to you. I'll show you when I get those kind of lines in. Sometimes it's a little difficult to see like where you're lining them up at to get them even. Let's do the best you can. So I have six kind of lanes, if you will, going down. And then you're, when you go across, you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna be drawing like the line across here and you want them to be staggered. So like you're gonna start and you're only gonna make the line for that in this one and this one and this one. And I'll do one line and kind of show you. It's a little bit kind of funky to explain, but we just wanna start this. So my line will be there and there and there. And then the next one, you'll scoot down your ruler a little bit and you'll alternate and you'll go there and there and there. And I'll show you up close on the camera. So you don't want all of these lines all the way across. You want them to be staggered so they're different. And then you'll color them like a checker print floor. Like you see them in kitchens or bathrooms a lot, kind of that tile. And so you want them to alternate back and forth all the way down. And some of them will be kind of long and skinny, which just like kind of plays in with that like real life perspective like they do kind of look long and skinny like in real life like they're not just a grid in the floor um so i'll do those quick and then after that like if you want to you can trace over these lines and erase the pencil lines and just keep those black lines like if you're painting i would for sure do that because you don't want the paint to smear any of the pencil lines but if you're just going to color it in i don't think it's a necessary step unless it's something that you want to do so it's all about like some choice here and kind of like the materials you're using and what works best for those and then after that if you do decide that you're going to use paint and that you want to do some erasing and whatnot i would go back in and draw like some fish, like maybe jellyfish or sharks or whatever it is you're interested in with um, with your pencil so that there's something in your aquarium. You don't want just empty aquariums. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing that on mine just cause you guys don't really wanna sit and watch me like draw all day or color all day. You wanna do your own projects, but I will show you my own little like tile floor leaning back. So this is kind of like bare bones, what you should have to show perspective. Like you're showing depth in the drawing and that is the goal of this. And then you can add some fish and some like jellyfish or sharks or whatever it is that you want in your aquarium. Maybe you want a diver or maybe you want just some plants, but whatever it is, make sure you add those. And then go ahead and kind of color however you wish. And um, as always, I will post a supply list and kind of a little general overview of the project with my example. So I will draw some fish in here and some jellyfish and a diver and all that fun stuff and color it up for you pretty so you have something to go off of more than just me talking and showing you this vague example um and as always like please if you are interested at all like email us or tag us on facebook with what you're doing um if you have suggestions or would like me to show you how to draw something or you want to learn something please by all means ask i would love to kind of know what you know and what you want to know and what you're interested in so enjoy this week and i'll see you next week